<laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, it's a school Taylor. Oh, they're good Taylor too. Look at that. That's a real one. That's a green back. That's a Taylor. There he goes. Oh! <laughs> 68, easy. 68. Oh. That's a Taylor. The term dream start is about to be thrown around. <laughs> Have a go there! G'day ladies and gents and welcome to a very special Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Joined by the Phantom on this trip, my old man, welcome. Thank you. Hi. And we are doing something that I love doing. Now, we are on the beach and we are doing a dedicated father and son boys trip chasing Taylor. Now, Tez, could you think of anything better to do with conditions like we've got on the moment? No, no, it's part of our history. We've done heaps of it. I haven't done it for a while with you, so pretty good to be doing it. So what you're saying is it had to be done? Yes. Had to be done. So how this trip came about is the legends at Salty Captain. They watched the Fraser Island video, which you guys might have seen uh, recently, and said, Sammy, we've got a brand new boat and four-wheel drive kit coming out. A combination of all the good things if you can take care of catching the fish, we'll sort out your car and your boat. Well, I said, well, I just got back from Fraser. That's, not, that's my last beach trip of the year. And they said, well, sounds like you better plan another one. So guys, here we are. The conditions are absolutely magical. We've got big Taylor in our crosshairs. Good to have you along, Tez. Thank you. Let's get stuck into a few. Well, how's the conditions? Low swell, good gutters. Even better, we're cruising around looking for a spot to fish tonight. And we saw something flick in this gutter here I'm not sure if it's mullet or Taylor I'm hoping it's Taylor that'd be a good start of the trip we're just gonna put it through a few lures through the gutter and uh, then we'll keep cruising if it's if it's nothing but there's bait around that's a good start be nice to get on the board early oh oh yes <laughs> that thing cartwheeled over it. They're definitely Taylor. I got a hit, and then that thing absolutely clobbered it. <laughs> Tez is at the car rigging. Hopefully he's on his way. Oh, that's a good fish too. Not even 10 minutes into the boys' Taylor trip. We're on. Which is good too, because we need a couple. Oh no, pull the hooks. We need a couple to eat and a couple for bait. And um, look, I've just I've just stitched myself up and dropped that one. Got too excited. Hopefully there's some more there. Tez is in. Tez is on. Oh. I'm on too. Double hookups. Tez, I've dropped three. This is a, a good way to start a trip. We only just finished filming the intro. You're gonna have to leave Tez for a second here and go land this thing. I've dropped that many. Need to probably put one on the beach to show you what the fuss is about. There he is. He's a nice fish. <laughs> oh yes, a chunky one. Oh, a chunky double tears. The Taylor trip is starting off with a bang. Well guys, the term dream start is about to be thrown around. Here with the old boy, chasing Taylor. We've marked two gutters. We looked at this one, saw a flick in there, saw another splash and went, we better have a cast through it. I've dropped two and this is my third fish. Tez's second cast. Second cast. And we're on the board. Good fish, good chunky fish. They are chunky, chunky fish. Now obviously we are chasing big Taylor this trip, but if the average size and the schoolfish are going to look like this, I hate to see what the big night brawlers are going to be. 
Anyway, eat this one. Yeah, hopefully things that eat this one. We're going to keep a couple for a feed, a couple for bait, and um, and then we're probably going to do a lot of catch and release this trip. But I'll tell you what, starts don't get too much better than that. We haven't even unpacked the car. We get to rig rods. Madness. Now, guys, I know I show you this all the time. Phantom tool. This is what they're for. In there. Fish is now expired. Any tailor you're keeping to eat, make sure you bleed them. Cut in behind the gills. Releases the blood. That fish is going to be beautiful tomorrow morning for brekkie. We're going to be fishing tonight, so no nighttime feed, but brekkie, beautiful. They would be probably 50 centimetre fish too, for anyone interested. Yeah, easy. They're 50 centimetre fish straight off the bat. In the bag. Let's get some more, Tez. Oh, no. Surface lure deploy. Surface stick baits in particular. A fun, fun way to catch a fish. Oh. Got him. Splashed it a couple of times. And then fish on. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. These are all nice fish. Here he comes. Another, another chunky boy. But that is a Beautiful quality tailor. Really just nice quality fish. Good proportion. Big, probably 52, 53, 54 centimeters and crunching surface lures. Couldn't ask for much more than that. I've got to get the pliers. This guy scoffed it. He, uh, he wanted it bad. Right down the hatch. Go on. Right yeah. Oh. <laughs> Off the top. Oh, yeah. Might be able to get him in without him fighting it. He's still trying to figure out what's going on. That pilchard he ate. Just bit him back. <laughs> Very green Taylor. Now, school seems to have moved a bit here, so just trying to determine which way. Oh, there they are. That's a big fish, and he just climbed all over that. As soon as the lure hit the water. That was awesome. He's just running into the gutter now. That looked to be a good fish. I'm keen to get a look at this guy. He's doing big fish things. Big head nods. There he is. Oh, he's a good... Oh, no! No! That was a nice fish. That was a nice one. Bugger! <clears throat> Got him. That's... Only attacker though. Where is he? Here he comes. Here he is. Oh, why couldn't the big one have hooked up like that? This guy's going nowhere. Watch fingies. And away you go, mate. Wrong way, champ. Turn around. There he goes. Oh! <laughs> wow! Eagle almost got him. I think Tez is into one as well. Must be fish all up and down this gutter. Nice 
chunky tail all around that 500 mark or perhaps a bit better very nice we'll get him back got him just sipped it that's not a bad one We've got to watch that eagle now. Oh, if you were having a regular tail session and keeping some for a feed, that would be an absolute specimen. We are just here for the big boys, but this is a good bit of fun to start off the trip. See you, mate. Oh, no. In the zone. Oh. Where is it? <laughs> I missed the fish, let it float back up, then cranked in for another cast and got eaten. Oh, this is awesome. This is just champagne tailor fishing. This is what I was hoping it would be like at Fraser. But not to be this year. Look at the quality. To give you an idea, these fish are, well that one's 50. Maybe just shy of 50. Whoa! So they're all really nice fish. Well, there you go. I was walking back to the car and this guy's just clunked it on the way in. It's the best fish of the session. I don't think it's as big as the other one. The one that we lost. But we'll claim it. Now I'm going to have to apologise for the hat here. But that's a lump. That's a lump. In bugger all water, just flicking on the way home. And that guy smashed it. He's still trying to fight me. There we go. Good fish. start the trip. What an arvo session. We still got to find somewhere to park up and have a fish tonight. This will drain out to just about nothing I reckon on the low tide but it's hard, hard to go away isn't it? Alright guys we're just gearing up. The sun has gone behind the dunes so we're just getting ready for the night sesh. Um, so we've got a couple of tailor in the bag already. Um, kept a couple for a feed and a couple for bait so we're going to be using strips of Taylor and also Benito tonight uh, in the hopes of enticing a big one uh, rigs standard Taylor rig restricted sinker uh, about a meter of trace you can go shorter if you like a little bit of wire down this end and a two gang um, and yeah we're just gonna be sitting it out there waiting for mr. big to come along a couple of things to remember while you are night fishing Make sure you got your head torch handy. We've got a ripper here from Nebo that gives me, for a long press, red light option, which I really get around because you can do something, rebait, undo a tangle without blinding yourself with a white light. So I get around the um, the, the red light, and then you've got the, the standard ones and, and all the different combinations. Also, make sure you cut yourself enough bait that you can go stand down there, miss a few hits, and not have to run back to the car every time. So one of these guys, a little bait bucket, and a, uh, a rod bucket to sit your rod in while you wait. Always gonna be good because these tailor, the bigger ones, they're generally a lot more infrequent. Is infrequent the word? Yes, sparse. You kind of get one every now and again rather than the stereotypical tailor session where you get 600 in a couple of hours. But hopefully the quality, quality will be there, the rewards. Anyways. Time to get some baits in the water. 
edge of the wash, it's only a half cast. And we're fishing. There we go. The Phantom. Woo. That's a nice tailor. You're doing yourself dirty there. That's a good one. He'd be getting close to 600. Nicely done. No, no, he, uh, he just uh, grabbed it and took off. And uh, I just caught a shovel nose shark, which wasn't the target species. But uh, this one did all the right things. Jumped it three or four times and I had my heart in my mouth. Nah, that's uh, on you. Yeah, I reckon he stayed in. Anyway, that nice guy's going to go, go get, get released. Here. I'll leave you to that. While Tez was fighting that fish, I, uh, I got whizzed off. And um, yeah, either a, oh, I just stepped on a jellyfish, gross. Uh, either a jewel or a shark. Uh, not sure. Not sure. Hopefully there's some more big fish move in though. Well, you wonder what the light is doing down here. The Phantom doesn't take no prisoners. Pass us that. Have a go at this for a lump. There we go. Look at that. That's a real one. That's a green back. Yeah. When's the last time you caught one that big, Tess? Uh, not for a while. Not for a while. I'll turn that head to it, John. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. Nah, happy with that one. He uh, he went hard and went all the way. Actually, thought he was a shovel nose shark there for uh, quite a bit of the fight, and then he jumped. You know, the shovelies don't do that. So, uh, and then yeah, he knew it was on when he got to the shore break and then in and out. What do you reckon he'd go, Sammy? I reckon two and a half to three kilo. Two, yeah, two and a half. Well. More, you reckon? Oh, right, so I thought. I reckon it'd be 65, 66. Yeah. He's solid. Solid should, fish. Uh, we should do a quick measure and... Uh, yeah, well, let's go up the car and measure. My, car, my rod's in the rod holder. I'm not getting anything anyway. That's definitely the quality of Taylor we're chasing. Oh, up a bit. It's oh, on, yeah. It's on his chin. That's a 66. Oh, okay. 66 and a bit. Nice. That's why he fought. Yeah. Lovely he's, fish. And he was hungry too. Look at that. Yeah, he's, He's not, not real fat. Cats. He has potential, but he's um he's not a real solid fish. That's Big skinny good. boy. Sorry, camera cut out. Team effort, we both stuffed it. I got a 61, here's a photo of it. And now back to the action. You see him? Yeah, he's there. Oh there he is. Oh! It's a belter! There he is in the waves. Woo! That's him! Get him up there. Oh yeah, that's better again. That's better again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice Taylor. Oh, he's primed for a release too. Excellent, yes. hold him up. There we go. I reckon that one's got a little bit more length. Yeah. Doesn't feel quite as heavy. No, he's definitely a skinny, uh, like yeah. a not as deep fish. But he went, geez, he took off. Took line and took line and took line. I thought, oh, this is a much more solid fish. Look at the motor on it. Man, we go with that for a tail. Yeah, that was it. Epic. All right, I'll pop this hook out. He will release nicely. Thank you for that, Mr. Taylor. That was awesome. There you go. All right, All right. send him up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take long. Oh, it's gone. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's coming out to get your ankles. Oh. There's him. Oh. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. How good's this? Hey, <laughs> on the beach. This is the Phantom Show. We just don't record yours. That's the problem. Yeah, I just, you know, I just do it for the love. Not about the camera work, nothing. Look at what we got here. You just come up for a sandwich. Sammy's catching horses. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh. Unfortunately, he's looking pretty deep. Oh, 
okay. A bit of a shame. Right, let's have a quick look Ooh, at he's, it. He's long. He's, he's long. long. He's very long. Oh, Sammy. Is that 68? Wow. Yeah, he's nice one. Yeah, 68 easy. 68. Oh. That's a tail up. Sammy oh. goes to the front. Tez just got another belter. He might be fish of the night. Ooh, I don't know. He's a big one. That one of yours might just pippy. He hasn't lost that much blood, has he? Yeah. I don't think we'd get it out without another five minute operation. So, no, lovely fish, but we will eat him. So we've got enough for a feed, but there's uh, always a few more feeds. Bit of a shame. Yeah. Would have been good to release that guy, but oh well. How's it feel? Feels like a good. Madness is continuing. Is that a mess? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, he has got mine. Ooh. That's a good fish. Did something have a go at him? I thought something had a go at mine too. I reckon it's oh, his well mates. Okay. The mates would be grabbing him, I reckon. Yeah. There you go. Another absolute belter. This guy's primed for release, so we're going to get him straight back. Oh. There he goes. Another 60 on the board. Yeah, a bit of bike catch. Big snowy brim on the tailor gear. They definitely don't fight like a tailor does. A bit like one, but um, that's where it the similarities ended. Hey guys, get him back. Good to see a bit of variety out here. That got him. Well guys, welcome to day two. First plan of attack is to do a bit of a fill it up from last night's fish. Have a go at the weather. Absolutely unreal. We, uh, we skipped the dawn session today. We stayed out till about, I think, 1.30 or so last night. So we earned a sleep in, uh, a bit kippy. But yeah, time to fill it some fish, go home, have some brekkie, and then get stuck in for the day. Can't waste a day like this, so we're gonna spend most of the day on the beach and see what we can find. We just take a moment to appreciate the size of these fish. That's 70 centimetres. Biggest one was this guy here, I think, 68. And we only kept those guys for a feed. Big ones we're trying to release, but they kept on gutting it, which is understandable, a fish of that size. Unreal. Just good fun. Really nice fish. Well guys, we just finished cleaning the fish and I can see a school, if you follow my rod tip, there's a school of fish there. I don't know if it's mullet or tailor. We're about to find out though. I reckon they're tailor. This should be on for young and old if it is. Here we go. Just getting into the zone in here. Oh no, they more. Oh no, they're tailor. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, it's a school of Taylor. Oh, they're good Taylor too. They're good Taylor. <laughs> oh, there were some big splashes there. These fish might be alright. Phantoms in there making a phone call. Rookie. There he is in the short dump. He's a nice fish. Here we go. He's a nice fish. He 
Yep. They're getting bigger. I gotta be careful here. This guy's gonna release. Please don't kick, please don't kick. That's a beautiful tailor. Really fat fish. That's a really, that's a weighty, weighty fish. He's gonna go back though. Don't tell your friends we're here. Look at this. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, yeah. His mates are still out there. I can see him. <laughs> only a little tucker, I think. Yeah, he's only a little one. Much smaller model. His big brothers have been a bit shy now. Righto team, here is the plan. It's about lunchtime. We've got high tide in about two hours. The plan of attack is to sit some baits out there and try and catch a struggling tailor or something like that. A midday special. Don't care. As long as it's legal, we'll be very happy. And we're gonna chuck it out on the slide baiting rod. I bought my slide bait rod. I haven't used it yet. It's a big 14 foot monster of a thing. First thing first, we gotta get some live bait. So we're gonna get um, some baits out there, have a spin, see what we can drum up. Yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set up. We've got three rods, stage one, two, three. Um, and we're just about to cook up. A bit of a feed, we've got some bread, we've got some tartare sauce, we've got the stove. Homegrown limes. Homegrown limes. We left the tailor in the fridge at home. Back at the place we're staying. He, he was confident, he said, oh, we'll just catch one down there. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> I, was to, I was referring to bait tailor. Um, yeah. We can eat bait tailor. Well, we don't have enough bait tailor. We only have half a fillet. So, this has turned into your classic YouTube survival. We're on a deserted island. We've only got enough food to make a gourmet burger without the fish. We just need the fish. Oh my God, we could starve in the next six days. Yeah, nah, we're just gonna have to catch something then we'll cook something up. It's gonna be a dinner cook up. Um, yeah, but we've got some beers. We've got a packet of chippies. I think there's a tin of tuna there. <laughs> we will survive. Look, it's a pretty nice day. I, I reckon we'll survive. Cheers! Cheers! This is fishing. This is living. <laughs> is that a slogan? Mm. I heard it. I think I made it up. Day for it. Yeah. I looked around it and would you know we've packed up the rods. And here's Sammy. How's that for timing? <laughs> Amazing. I, uh, I was just about to, I was walking to bring this in and I watched it go, eh. it's, um, it's quite an active fish. I'd like to see what this is. I heard of one last cast, but that was one last minute. Feels like a fish. Yeah, definitely. It's cut water and everything. And it's taken line. Oh, might be a little sharp. A little bit of brown. Could be dinner. Oh, it is a little sharp. Right. Just ID it. It's a little, uh, Looks to be a little bronzy or something. Oh yeah, a little, little bronze whaler. Fake tailor, we'll call him. Could have been a six kilo tailor. Here 
Podcast. Hit the road. Hi. Hit the road. for that one. Hmm. Camera man. This is a two hand job. Be careful. There we go. Now we were talking earlier that if we caught one of these, it would be a dinner fish, but to be honest, can't really be stuffed filleting it. And I'm pretty confident we're gonna get a tailor at some stage. They are good eating though at this size, especially clean off the beach. They're yummy. But, uh, and that hook's pretty nice in the corner of the mouth there. I can get that out pretty easily. Good to bend a rod though. Been a little bit quiet this afternoon, but we're coming into the better part of the day. I'm gonna get some pliers, get the hooks out, send him back. It might be time to change gutter. We're gonna go looking, see what else we can find to soak a bait or cast a lure at. Be quiet on this one. Change spots, see what we can find. Very different afternoon today. I'm glad we got here yesterday. Fish were plentiful. They seem to have, the swells dropped down a lot at the moment, so it's making it a little bit harder to get that wash zone. The fish are kind of seem to be a bit more timid. I'm not sure if they're not coming into the gutter or, or what, but yeah, definitely not seeing the same action. Ted's helping the dinner campaign. Well, we did say we're after Big Taylor, and uh, that's not it. <laughs> uh, we're flathead on stick bait time. How about that? <laughs> I didn't feel the strike, and uh, he didn't fight very much, but I was quite surprised to see what it is. I thought it might have been the bait that's in that gutter out there, but no, I think he was just sitting on the bottom and got very unlucky. Anyway, we'll uh, release him and let him go. <laughs> we need to catch something, otherwise we've got no tea. Yes! Come on. All right. We got one. Whew. We have dinner and we have bait. All right. Ah. Thank goodness for that. First tailor we've caught since this morning's session. Almost lost him to the eagle again. Tried to get greedy and put him behind me and the eagle came and swooped him. Almost got him, but that's, that's dinner and bait for the night sorted. We're gonna quickly nip down to where I got him and see if he's got any mates and um, then settle into the night session. We're on the board though. Well, ladies and gents, our beach time has come to an end. Yesterday, a little bit of a non-event on the fishing front. Uh, we stayed out to about nine o'clock that night and didn't catch a single fish. So we cooked dinner up at home, wasn't exciting at all. Looks a little bit better today, a bit more swell. Also a bit more breeze, but good trip, had by all. Absolutely, glad, yeah, no, good. glad we went the day we did. Just <laughs> that first day was a cracker. Um, but we're gonna head home and we're gonna clean up this car and put the Salty Captain four wheel drive wash to the test. Righto team, got home yesterday, unpacked the car, did a bit of a preliminary desand underneath with the hose, and now today, it's time to give the old girl a tub. Here's the box here. This is what you get inside. Um, this is what I'll be using. The brush, if there's any proper stuck on bits, we'll give that a whirl. A drying towel, wheel brush, musket, let's get to work. Here's a bit of a closer look at the car. Yeah, she did. 
dirty. Locked and loaded. Home time. Now I've just topped up the musket with a bit more of the four-wheel drive wash. Uh, you'll notice it's anti-rust and corrosion inhibiting, which is a big thing if you're going to do a lot of beach work, and I'm assuming some four-wheel driving as well. Um, now I'm just going to give the underside a good hose out. Like I said before, I've already got the majority of the sand off, but I'm going to give it a run over with this, get that anti-rust and corrosion inhibiting stuff all over it, and uh, hopefully that'll keep it good for many, many years to come. Probably should have done this first, but oh well. Dry time. I'll tell you what, not bloody bad, she comes up a treat. The pads may be old, but give her a bit of a scrub and tickle, and she's still got her looks. Well legends, that brings us to the end of another epic father and son adventure with the Phantom. It's always an absolute pleasure to fish with him, but to do it on a dedicated big tailor trip, just like old times, is something very dear to my heart. Now, a big shout out must also go to the legends at Salty Captain for supporting this video. If you'd like to grab yourself a boat and four wheel drive kit, you can find it and all their other products at BCF. They're a great Aussie company guys, all Aussie made and they're supporting Aussie creators as well, which is absolutely epic. And don't forget to tune in next week when I try out the boat kit on the boat. I'm gonna go out and see how dirty I can get it. Now guys, if you'd like any more information on the fishing gear I used, you can find all that at Wilson Fishing, of course. And if you'd like to support the channel yourself, you can do so by heading to my website, sammyhitskyfishing.com and grabbing yourself some merch. Guys, once again, thank you very much for tuning into this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers.